an endless summer here in Valencia. It's a bit strange celebrating a semi-Christmas holiday. and to another beautiful day here in Valencia. Just when you think the holidays are over, you're mistaken. In Spain, nothing stops. Today is January the 6th and it's actually one of the biggest holidays here in Spain. They do celebrate Christmas, they are exchanging gifts on Christmas, but January the 6th, Three Kings, it's one of the biggest holidays here and kids are waiting with anticipation to receive their gifts. So I just want to explore the streets of Valencia and see what the situation is. They had a parade yesterday. <laughs> which I couldn't attend, um, smaller than what they normally do. And right now, from what I'm seeing, all the stores are closed. Only restaurants are open. People are gathering together, celebrating, having you know great lunch. And of course, kids are playing with their new toys. So let's go explore Valencia and see how they celebrate Three Kings. one of the traditional cakes for Three Kings. And that's what Spanish do. They just sit outside, have their drink, little food or a lot of food. And actually we tried to do the same thing today, but all the restaurants were booked. So now we have to improvise. Maybe we'll find something nice here. There is a new restaurant, restaurant kind of like a little small joint of Middle Eastern food we can try. And if it's open and if we can get in. Hummus. It is the Syrian Lebanese, um, Syrian Lebanese food. And let's get some falafel. Yes, si, si, si. This is one of my, and, and tabule, right? And tabule? Okay. And para, para him. <laughs> para él, para él. Para él. Okay, for it's made with some celery, tomatoes, onions. It's such a good salad. One of my favorites, this and tabule, which is coming. Hummus and baba ganoush, classics. And I'm on falafel. Mmm, they use different spices on this. I like it a lot. It's something a little smoky. I don't know what it is, I have to ask. Mmm. Wheat semolina. Wheat semolina. Semola de trigo. It's the, the wheat, yeah. but not, not the wheat. It's the, the, the outside of the wheat. The outside ah, of the wheat. See, okay, it's, okay. It's the good. pure good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, salud. Happy Three Kings, day of, um, what was it called? Damn, what was the name? If, day of Epiphany. Right, so whatever you're celebrating, cheers to you. For good health, everyone. What's the end of the day without baklava? <laughs> Well, that was great. Not only the food was very good, but the owner, Samir, uh, and the waitress, they were so kind. Pretty much every time at a restaurant, 
in Valencia and in all places I've been to Spain, people are super nice at restaurants. And it's not just this kind of fake kindness, they're, they're really, really genuine. They come out very genuine. And uh, he owns a restaurant with his father, another restaurant, I think it's up north. Um, and this is a new one opened in Lusafa. And it's very cute, very, very small, very cozy place. We tried all their baklava and, um, and coffee and wine and all the little um, tapas style like tabule, baba ganoush, hummus. It was great. And now we're gonna go to the beach and see what the situation is there because people here in Valencia on this day, they go and they eat their traditional paella. We're not gonna have that because we already had our lunch, but let's see what the situation is there. I would say it's pretty quiet. I mean, unless people are at restaurants eating, on the streets there are not many cars, and it is quite, quite... Um... Okay, so we're actually using our Valen BC card, which is good for the bikes and the metro. You can buy it either bikes and metro or bikes and bus but we use the metro so that's why we use uh, we're, we charge it with metro so it shows you here how many rides you have if you need to add but it's 760 for 10 rides so we're gonna charge it right now What's different about some European metros is that you need your card on the way in and on the way out. So we're right here in Chativa, Hativa. <laughs> and then we're gonna go all the way here to Maritim Serrera and we can use five and seven. These are the extension that go to the beach. They circle here, but from here you cannot basically walk to the beach. That's not ours. We need, we need five, number five. So we're gonna transfer to another train and you basically use the same card. It doesn't charge you anything extra. It's just an extension because right now they don't have anything directly to the beach, but it still, it works. It brings you a little bit closer for like two stops. Look at the orange trees. That's Valencia. <laughs> come, come, let's walk to the Reminds me of uh, these old movies, circus movies. Old trains, old. There's something very, very sad and very happy about circus for me. Obviously everybody associates it with their childhood, but there's also something very sad. Like these are the ultimate nomads, like constantly moving, never really setting us, settling up in any place and but at the same time they live in their caravans with their family and it's uh, I would imagine it's like a long transition of people just from generation to generation living getting married within their community cool It's, it's actually a dinner show, look! Maybe that's our way of celebrating Three Kings. 
This circus has a legacy of traveling to more than 30 countries around the world, transporting their centenary wagons and trucks through roads, boats, and airplanes. One was since 1942, I saw. And we're here, you might recognize the flag from some of my old videos. And let me just show you, 14 degrees Celsius. So that's about what, 50 something, 60? An endless summer here in Valencia. It's a bit strange celebrating a semi-Christmas holiday in January in this perfect summer weather. I personally like it a lot. And we're at the beach, January 6th, guys. No kidding. People sitting, enjoying the good weather. And yes, it is another beautiful day here in Valencia. Believe it or not, everybody is celebrating this holiday in their own way. I'm planning to walk all the way to the water, but of course it's gonna be cold. I'm not gonna go in, even though I did this in Marbella, totally messed up my, my boots, <laughs> but... Um, Let's see. Someone's not scared. We have a drink at uh, one of the biggest uh, five-star hotels here at the beach in Valencia. This hotel reminds me a little bit of the White House. Look at this. <laughs> I imagine they have probably some uh, big events or... It looks really nice. It might not be that nice, but just to sit outside. You know how some places are great for, for their bar and their lounge area or spa and, and then the hotel is like nothing special. But I can't really say that because I, I haven't really stayed at this hotel. But look at this sunset behind me with a Christmas tree. And if you're enjoying my video, don't forget, click that like button. It really helps me keep going and making these videos. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. It's a shame, it's a shame. Make sure, click that subscribe and like button. And I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.